Oh man, sending emails from your app is such a minefield. What about batching? What about network errors? What about rate limits? What are you having for lunch? Well, fortunately, I no longer need to worry about any of these as the convex resend component has just dropped. It takes care of all those annoying edge cases that you inevitably encounter when taking your app to production. So in this video, let's dive in and see how to get set up, how to send an email, setting up a webhook, and then going to production. So once you've liked and subscribed, we'll get into it. Done? All right, let's go. All right, so first things first, you're gonna need a convex project to get started with. So if you haven't got one, check out one of the quick start guides. Then we're gonna to need to install a component with npm install at convex dev slash resend. Then let's create a convex.config.ts in our convex directory to set up our component like this. And once we have that, we can go ahead and create our resend object like this. Note, I'm setting test mode to false for now. Um, so I actually want to send a real email. Uh, and this is how you would actually go about doing it like this. So it's as simple as just calling the resend components and email with some parameters. Let's take this for a spin right now on the Convex dashboard. Um, a quick tip to get to the Convex dashboard from any Convex project, you can type npx convex dashboard from your terminal, and then this will give you a link to take you directly to that project. All right, so now let's go to the functions tab, select our send test email mutation and run it. And uh oh, we get an error. Server error, uncaught error, API key is not set. Ah. Yes, we probably should set up the API key for resend first. Okay, so let's open up resend, create an account if you haven't already. And then let's go to the API key section and create one. Once we have that, we can then hop back to the Comics dashboard, go to settings, environment variables, and then add a resend underscore API underscore key and smash in that key that we just took from resend dashboard. All right, and now let's try that function again. And huzzah! we get a null, which is effectively our success. So it works. And let me just check my email inbox. I probably should just hide this stuff here, but yep, we have our email, fantastic. All right, so what we have right now is a, a way to reliably send emails, which is super nice. And what the component is doing underneath the covers is it's gonna batch up our emails and send them off um, in batches to respect the resends API uh, limits. So no matter how many emails we queue up, our emails should always get delivered and um, exactly once. But what happens if the email bounces or triggers a spam complaint or something like that? How, how is our app gonna find out? Well, fortunately, that's where webhooks come in. So webhooks are a way for Resend to send our app a message when something happens. So resend is gonna make a HTTP request to us. So to do that, we need to create a HTTP action. So back in the code, let's create a HTTP.ts file in a convex directory and put in some code that looks like this. So here we just define a post endpoint um, called resend webhook. And then we let the component, the resend component handle what happens there. Okay, so we've defined it on our end and we now need to tell resend about it. So let's open up the resend dashboard again, go to the webhook section and click add new webhook. So we're gonna need the full uh, URL for our endpoint here. So there are a number of ways we can do this, but one way I like to do it is by going back to our convex project, opening our terminal and typing npx convex env get convex site URL. And that's gonna give us the full URL for our current deployment. Don't forget that this URL will change whether you're deploying to dev or production convex backend. All right, so let's take that URL we just got, add our slash resend webhook onto the end of it, and that's our endpoint URL. Uh, lastly, let's select all events that are related to emails and create the webhook. All right, once created, we can then grab this signing secret and then open up the Comix dashboard again and create another environment variable called resend webhook secret and paste our signing secret in there. We do this to ensure that the message coming from an external source is definitely from the resend, otherwise you could end up with a security issue. 
All right, so everything is connected up now, but um, just to get a little bit more visibility of what's going on, let's hop back into the code and add a callback from the component to tell us when an email status, status has changed. For now, we'll just log out uh, what the component gives us, but you could put any sort of business logic here you like, such as calling the Convex database or running another action or anything like that. All right, let's take this for a spin. So let's go back to the Convex dashboard, try sending an email again, and let's have a look at our logs. Cool, it came through. And we'll see it went, the email went from queued to delivered. Just note, if you don't see it come through immediately, it might be the fact that the resend uh, service itself has queued the emails up. So you can find that out by going to the resend dashboard, clicking on the email section, and just seeing whether it's set to queued rather than delivered. In my experience, it just might just take a minute or so for it to go from queued to delivered. All right, well, there's a bunch of other stuff I could talk about here, particularly around how you would go about testing um, your emails. Uh, Recent actually gives you ability to do, to test bounces and complaints and things like that without actually hitting your email provider. So do check out the uh, Resend component docs if you would like to find out more about that. Right, ho so that's about it from me for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more videos like this. And if you have any questions, then please do leave me a comment down below. I read every single one or just come and find me on Discord. And if you're looking for something else to watch now, you might want to check out this video I did recently on the RAG component. It's also short and packed with lots of good information. Until next time, thanks for watching. Cheerio.